Harrison Bader. He's out in left field getting loose there as he enters the game on defense now. Okay, all set to go. Here's the third baseman. Keep Ryan Hayes. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. I'll tell you, man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke the line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. O'Neal Cruz swings through one there. And a pitch. Ball one there. Yeah, the right-hander deals. Rip, but it curls foul. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And one gone. Here is the young phenom, Labor Torres. Labor Torres. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Torres, a guy the Yankees acquired for Aroldis Chapman back in 2016. He is fearless. Right, right, and there he goes. Pitch misses in. Yachty throws. Got him. Fox stealing. The wind of the pitch. There's a strike. Two and one now. And yeah, that's outside. No score just getting started. Top of the first. Here's a rocket out to left. Bader makes the catch, and that'll do it. Bottom of the first. Here's the shortstop at the play. Tommy Edmond. Leading off for St. Louis. The shortstop. And the pitch. Tommy. Into center. Frazier under this one. And a quick out number one. Here's Corey Dickerson. Batting second. The designated hitter. Corey Dickerson. Swing and a high fly ball left field. Squeezes it. And there are two outs. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the Batting plate. Third. The first baseman. Paul Goldschmidt. Oh. Next offering is down low. And that's ball one. Gets the slider in there for a strike. There's a 1-1. Outside corner, there's a strike. Pitch misses. The count now 2-2. Two and two. And that's downstairs and outside. Kicks and deals. That one laced to center and a base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Now he'll turn for second. The tag and that's out number three. Inning over. Here in St. Louis, Jorge Soler up at the plate. Off the the right hander back to work. And the first Jorge. pitch misses for ball one. Oh, right hander kicks, deals. And that one fouled off. Here comes a pitch. Nope. Off the mark ball. there. Ball two. Oh, Way high. The 3-1. And fouled off. So now 3-2. and two. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. So up next, Matt Frazier. In there for strike one. That 
one missing low. Working down in the zone to start the at bat, looking for that double play ground ball. Yeah, back to back sinkers there. He's looking for some weak contact or to get this hitter to roll over. Now, as a hitter, you have to be really disciplined. Don't look down because you'll end up chasing the ball down. Set your sights high. Maybe you get a mistake. The 2 1. And a foul ball. And a 2 2. And a foul ball. He stays alive. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. And a pitch. Just missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And it's ball four. He missed down low. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound. But, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this. But he's going to have to buckle down right here. And it's Michael Chavis at the plate. First pitch just misses. And the righty deals. Fought off foul. First and second here, no outs. Next offering is in for a strike. Oh, and you can throw that big curve on the inside part of the plate. Very difficult pitch for the hitter to get on plane with. You can have a lot of success if you can pitch in that location. Kicks and fires. Hits slowly on the ground. Edmund tosses across the first, and that is a big first out. Now it's Evan Longoria's turn. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Two on, one out. Just missed. Line drive, base hit, right center field. One run across. Now two runs score, and they take a two-run lead. Gets him on the board first, coming through with two RBIs on that swing. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap, and I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. The 1-0. And a base hit right there. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field. And it doesn't always translate into the game. But right there it did. And he did it perfectly. Still only one out here in the inning. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. That one gets down for a hit. And they hold the runner at third, but the bases are loaded now with one out. So the Pirates batting order turns over. Now batting Key Brian Hayes. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. Next offering is in for a strike. And now two and two. The pitch. That's inside. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. And a three two. Stays alive. The pitch. And a 
swinging it in. Huge strike out there. Here's Oniel Cruz. Oniel Cruz. And the first pitch misses for ball one. That's a strike. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat, drive in that run. You may not have another guy in scoring position the rest of this ball game. Over to Goldie. They limit the damage here. Back here at Bush Stadium, bottom of the second. Here's Nolan Arenado. The right-hander back to work. Off the plate inside, 1-0. and Arenado. The pitch. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Let's go, Carlos. The pitch. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. And here it comes. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. And quickly one away in the second. Got it. Good. Here's Byron Buxton. Byron Buxton. And that's in there for strike one. The pitch. Out to short. Whips it to first. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. Fastball groove right down the middle. And usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air. Maybe drive it into the gap. Harrison Bader looks at one outside there. At the belt and fires. Check swing, but he went too far. And it's one and one. Looked like it was a little bit up. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. And that one sliced foul. Righty to the play. Stays alive. Two two. That one drifts inside. Boom. He never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. He swings and fouls one off. A little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. Two outs. Swing and a ball lifted to center field. Snags it on the run. And the inning is over. And welcome back on to the third inning. And now, Glaber Torres. The first, baseman, number first pitch is in the dirt. Glaber Looking at Torres, have to say, he's one of the most impressive young players I've seen in recent years. No, no question about it. His future is very bright. The city, the organization, both are excited about him. He has a lot to look forward to. Next pitch misses, and it's 3-0. And he walked him. Well, that could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and a leadoff batters on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off the shoulder. And here is Jorge Soler. Slice down the right side. And the pitch. That smash towards center. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. And there's one down. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it. But sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those loop hits to get a knock sometimes. Next to hit, Matt Frazier. Grounder might be two. Fires to second for one. And Michael Chavis will get a chance to hit. First pitch, and that's in for a strike.
Next pitch is outside. And that's a pitch early in this game. He needs called for a strike. Struggling with command issues. He's got to get a little help from the umpire. Here's a 1-1. One -one. And this guy's got a great feel for his break the ball today. Oh, now this one gets away at the plate. And the runner stays where he is. And the right-hander deals. And it's filled up. And this is a guy originally drafted as a shortstop. He's got big-time power. And that's ball four. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boo. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. Now it's going to be Evan Longoria. First offering, misses the mark. Chavis from Sprayberry High School. And you know what? Spray something here and drive in a run. Next offering is in for a strike. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. The next pitch misses. Yeah, that's ball two. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Bader settles under it. Makes the catch in a goal. Back here at the ballpark, set for the bottom of the third. Now up for St. Louis, Edmundo Sosa. And he deals. In the air, right field. Hayward turns, moving to his left. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. One away. Here's Tyler O'Neill. Batting it. The white field. Tyler O'Neill. And the first offering is not close. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Ball to strike. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. Kicks and deals. And another ball. One down, base is empty. Lace to right center, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. It's hard to hit a baseball much better than that, and even a lot of professional hitters aren't able to reach an exit below of 114 miles per hour. I'll tell you what, that's a very impressive swing of the bat. Righty delivers. Strike two. O'Neal at first, one gone. To short, could be two. Cruz to second, double play. And that'll do it for the inning. Welcome back. And now, Travis Darno. Wainwright back to work. That one misses. Ball one. In the air, right field, O'Neal drifts towards it, falls it in for the out. Stepping in, Jason Hayward. One for one, he singled the left his first time through. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Ball one, no strike. Foul ball. A one one. And that one a little bit high. Count for two and one. Good eye right there. Left hand batter waits. That to right. O'Neill moving under it. He makes the catch, and there's two down. 
So the batting order turns over. Now the, the third baseman, baseman. Key Brian Hayes. Key one Brian for two. Hayes. First pitch, not close. Two down, nobody on. Pulled down the line. This one hammered, but it's foul. Well, that ball's hit pretty hard and sure had home run distance, but if you're the pitcher out there on the mound, you execute it. Just a long strike. You go after him and finish him off. Next offering is in for a strike. And a pitch. Out there to center. Buxton settles underneath it and makes the play, and that's out number three. Bottom four, and stepping in is the speedy Tommy Edmond. Way to go. And a pitch. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Next one misses. One and one. Here comes a pitch. Just off the outside part of the plate. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. Right-hander kicks, deals. And that one wrapped foul. And the righty deals. Pitch misses there. Three and two now. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff walk. Got him looking. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Here's Dickerson now. The designated hitter. Corey Dickerson. Next pitch downstairs, and it's one and oh. At the belt and fires. Just off the inside edge. This one high in the air to left center. Pulls it in on the run. And there's two down. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. Now batting first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. In there, and it's 0-1. The pitch. On the corner for a strike. And that is strike two. He doesn't seem to like to pitch up. Hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. 0-2 count now. Three. And down on strikes. St. Louis goes down in order. Ready now for the fifth inning. At the plate for Pittsburgh. O'Neill Cruz. The, the short strike. Oh, yeah. Strike. Hmm. Why to kick the pitch? This one rip, but foul to the right. Oh, and two now. And ball one. Oh, two count. You've got the opportunity to expand the zone. Could get the chase there. Let's see what he comes back with next. One and two now. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Next pitch is outside. Righty to the plate. Stays alive. Got him looking. One away here in the fifth. And now the young star. It's Glaber Torres. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Just missed. Two balls, no fight. The next offering misses. Three and oh. The wind of the pitch. And now it's filled up. The wind of the pitch. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. 
Well, a breaking ball in that 3 2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Now at the plate, Jorge Soler lifted in the air right center field. And there's two away. And at first, up next for the Pirates, Matt Frazier. That one's in there, 0 1. The pitch. That one to first. Can't glove it cleanly, but in time. Nice job to stay with it to end the inning. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now up the Cardinals' number four hitter, Nolan Arenado. And a pitch. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Next pitch is popped up. Darno under it. Puts it away for the out. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Byron Buxton. Ripped on a line. He can't get there. It's a base hit. And now it rolls all the way to the wall. Not stopping. He's going for three. And he's there at third with a triple. And now Bader up to the plate. And Boog, I'd say he's due. No left field. Harrison. Bader. And that's in there for strike one. Hard hit, but right at him and left. Here's the throw to the plate. Slides his hand in there. Save. And they trail by one. That wasn't your standard sack fly. He barreled that baseball. Just couldn't get it to drop in. Up the middle. On the run. Throw to first. And that will end the inning. Now they turn to Alex Reyes. And he'll do his best to keep this close. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings. And a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Top six at the plate for Pittsburgh. Michael Chavis. Leading off for the Pirates. The second baseman. And Michael the pitch. Chavis. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Chavis drafted as a shortstop. And a 1-1. That one in there across the letters. Establishing both ends of the zone is critical. Most times guys are wanting to get hitters out down. But if you can get them to look up, get a called strike, that's going to make that strike zone a lot bigger. Got him. And one out now. So now here's the DH. Evan Longoria. First offering misses the mark. Counts 1-0. Kicks and fires. That one fouled off. And here it comes. Two balls, one strike, the count. There's the strike up high. Two balls, two strikes. The pitch. Misses just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Swings here and blasts one left field. And it hits the fence. And into second with one away. That's a double. Put a pretty good swing on that one as he drove it out to deep left. Didn't quite have the right combination of launch angle and exit velocity to get it over the fence, but you're never going to be disappointed with extra bases. And now it's Travis Darno with the play. First pitch just misses. 
Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Here's Jason Hayward. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Ooh, Baya. You got to remember to take the donut off the bat, partner. Man on second, two down. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And that'll do it. Bottom of the six. And now, Tyler O'Neill. Meeting up. Four State Blue. The right fielder. You know him. Back Tyler. to work. Swing and a miss. Slider right there. Righty delivers. And takes low for ball one. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle. And you get it right where you want it. He's a one-two. Just misses with that one. And he deals. In the air, left side. And O'Neill is retired. And there's one down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Molina stands in now, looks at that one inside. Ground ball scooped up, Key Brian Hayes. Zips it to first, score at 5-3 for the second out with the third Down baseman down. shifted over there. Oh, a well thrown oh, slider like that one can be tough to get in the air. Good downward break on that one. Tommy Edmond at the plate. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Left-hand batter waits. Misses off the plate. Now 2-0. There's a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. The pitch. And it's filled up. Lined, and that's a base hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, man. So could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive in the center field. And now it's going to be Corey Dickerson. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. Can't field it cleanly. The throw is late, and they come away without an out. Runner leads away at second. That one missing inside. Appears they're working around him with the base open, singing. Well, you know these 2-0 -oh counts, boo. They're just not what they used to be, and they sound like old guys when I say that. But ultimately, this is a strategic game, and you expect to see this type of approach by the pitcher in this situation. Left-hand hitter waits. And ball four to a board. First and second, two outs. And here is Paul Goldschmidt. Good contact guy, good defender. In there, and it's 0-1. His home fans, they are making a lot of noise, putting pressure on that pitcher out there. And the right hater deals. And that one is lifted in the air. Frazier should have this one. And that is that.
Jordan Hicks takes over on the mound. He's pitching on two days rest. Number 12, Jordan Hicks. Back here at Bush Stadium, top of inning number seven, and now the Pirates lead off man. Off the Key Brian Hayes, the, third base the pitch. Number 13. Just yep, off Brian the outside now. edge. Okay. Liner, base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. You see a ball come off the bat like that, you know it was pretty much a perfect swing. And for me, I start wondering, and I'm looking on the computer, what was the exit velocity? This time, 106. Cruz at the plate now. That's ball one. And the 1-0. And that's in for a strike. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. Kicks and deals. That one missed. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Swing and a miss, and it's a full count now. Right-hander kicks deals. High fly ball out to center field. Buxton under it. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Here is Glaber Torres. He's 0 for 1. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Hayes over at first with one away. Next offering is in for a strike. And the righty deals. That one is upstairs. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And a pitch. Swing and a miss, struck him out, and there's two down. Jorge Soler, the next pirate to hit. Jorge Soler. First offering, runner goes. Pitch is low. Go to second, wow. and then letting it. Bottom of the seventh, here's Nolan Arenado. And the pitch. Third and that clips the inside corner. Well, he's back out there to begin the seventh. That surprised you at all, Chris? Yeah, a little bit. It was a little rough sixth inning there, but his skipper's got a lot of confidence in him. But trust me, they will keep a close eye on how he does in this one. The tying run at the plate. There's the strike of the knees. The pitch. Stays alive. One and two here. And there's a the ball. <laughs> this guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. The 2-2. Two -two. And that just misses. That's a really good take. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Well, he's starting to look a little gas to me, and we'll see if they go to the bullpen in this spot or not. Austin Bryce on the pitch here, trying to protect this lead. No outs, runner at first. 
And up next for St. Louis, Byron Buxton. This guy has turned into a beast. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Right handed reliever. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Well, a big swing of the bat right there. He wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it. Right on time, good balanced approach, and just blasted it through the infield. And a foul ball. The possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. Nobody out. Pitch misses there, and the count is one and one. Good eye right there. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. That one in for a strike, two and two. So the tying run at second. Swing and a miss, struck him out. One away. Two on, one out. Next to hit, Edmundo Sosa. First offering, misses the ball. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. The 1-0. -oh. That's towards center. Frazier gets there. He's under it. Makes the grab, and there's two out. Now up for St. Louis, Tyler O'Neill. Now batting, right fielder, Tyler O'Neill. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Big spot. Two out. Both the tying and go-ahead runs are aboard. Next pitch is outside. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Two on, two outs. That one spoiled and the count now two and one. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. Two outs. Got him looking. That ends the inning. And this is Cabrera taking them out. And this guy can bring it velocity wise. Number 92. Henderson. Cabrera. And welcome back. For the top of the eight, here's the left fielder, Jorge Soler. The, the pitch. The left fielder, Jorge. That's Whoa. down and in. Soler. The lefty, the 1-0. Hey. That was absolute gas. Triple digits on the gun. It's just a different experience as a hitter watching that go by. Next offering upstairs. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. The punch out there, and now one away. Matt Frazier will hit next. The seven here, Matt Frazier. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh, oh, one. At the belt and fires. Aye. In the air, left field. Bader settles under it and makes the catch. Two up, two down. Two outs, base is empty. And now it's Michael Chavis. A strikeout and a walk. And there's a foul ball. Kicks and fires. 
Foul ball there. Here comes a pitch. Next oh. offering misses down and away. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand. Probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch. So got to stay ready for it. Next offering misses. And the count is 2-2. Two and two. And a pitch. Next offering popped in the air. Right field. And that's the inning. Now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Anthony Bunda, and he'll work on holding this lead. Ready for the bottom of the eighth, and stepping up to the dish is Yadier Molina. Line drive. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. Just a huge at bat right there. First pitch fastball. A great spot to do some damage. And he squared it up nicely. So digging in, Tommy Edmund. Next offering is down low. And that's ball one. The pitch. That one hit to right. Base hit into the outfield. Lead runner to second. So two on and nobody out. Well, that at bat had a lot riding on it. Certainly a pivotal swing of the bat in this ball game. With the way defenders the track down balls That's these days, I mean, both from the infield Glory. and in the outfield, there really Glory. weren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a long dart in there, and he found a way. And another ball. Two Molina at second. Edmund at first with no outs. There's the strike three and one. Clearly taking all the way there in that 3-0 count. It was a cookie right down the middle. And a foul ball. That one handled in plenty of time. The first one gone to the bottom of the eighth. And a batter now. Paul Goldschmidt for the fourth time tonight. That one lifted to left. Way back there. Turning and looking and it's gone. Paul Goldschmidt goes deep. His 22nd homer of the year. And now they're out the run. It's 4-2. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Mitch Keller. He's into the game with the bases empty. One out, bases empty. Nolan Arenado next up for the Cardinals. And third baseman, Nolan. First offering, and it just misses. Next offering is foul back. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. Man, that was pretty gross right there. Righty to the plate. And it's even up. Righty delivers. Got him. Two out. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Byron Buxton. This guy with big time power and an elite defender. That one's in there, 0 and 1. And here it comes. And that's in for a strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches down an 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle, hope he gets a mistake. One guy that was really great once the count got. To Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And that ends the inning.
But now they turn to Giovanni Gallegos, and he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Number 65, Giovanni Gallegos. Back here at the ballpark, now it's the DH, Evan Longoria. And he deals. Ball one there. Bounce to third. Arenado to first, in time. And they get the leadoff man in the ninth. And here's the catcher, Travis Darno. Check swing, but he went too far. That's strike one. Kicks and deals. And fouled off. And the right hander deals. And down on strikes. And a couple of quick outs. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Jason Hayward. Jason And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Left hand batter waits. And a good eye there. And now one strike away. Next pitch misses. Two balls, two strikes to Cal with two outs. Good eye right there. Pressure mountain right here with the tying run in the on deck circle. He's got to find the strike zone. Is just one strike away. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Bader settles underneath it. He's got it. Ball game. And the Cardinals take the series opener here at home. After four wins in a row, you start to think a little bit that you're on a roll. That's the momentum that just takes on a life of its own. Guys start hitting up and down the lineup. You never know who's going to come up with the big hit, who's going to come out of the bullpen and get the big outs. But it's a good feeling, and you want to extend it. And your final 4-2 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon. For the pilot, two runs, six hits, no errors. They left eight men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 54 minutes.